These ducks obviously have been all over this sandbar. If you look, they're just tracks. And, I mean, they, they've been in here. We've been watching them for a couple of weeks, but up until two weeks ago, our river was level was a little high, and this sandbar was actually underwater, so they really weren't hitting this hole. But about 10 days ago, the river dropped about six, eight inches, exposed this sandbar, and they've been here ever since. So we've been kind of watching them. They like to get on the sandbar because they can loaf, and usually on the back side of the sandbar, is calm water so that's how they we like to concentrate on those areas for sure this hunt is, is unique and special for me because every year i like to set aside two or three hunts with buddies and good old you know good old friends that can come down and i can relax and just hunt and, and get this and as a guide you don't get to do that very often we can enjoy a great time on the river not a lot of pressure brady walker in high school just before he went away to college um, he kind of found me through his, his uh, uncle and started hunting a little old duck lease that I had and he started joining in with us and coming. Uh, and then we started teaming up and going to some of the different lakes and he followed me around like a, like a young apprentice does. And uh, I showed him a lot of stuff and taught him all I could and he went on and he learned, he learned a lot more stuff, added it to the, to the knowledge that he's got that I gave him and the other experienced hunters gave him. And I think that's what it, what put him a notch ahead. I'll never forget those first hunts, you know, back in northeastern Oklahoma when I went with those guys and I, I just got addicted to the sport. You know, I watched those birds come in those, those holes in the sun and, and I just really got addicted many years ago. And John was a big part of that. He made time for me when a lot of people may not have made time for me. And I, you know, I just, I learned a lot from him. I was willing to learn from him. And he was, more than anything, he was willing to teach me how to do it. He's done a wonderful job with both ends of the deer and the ducks. Um, so, you know, it's nice to know I had a little piece in that in the beginning many, many years ago. Lone Mountain, right here on the deck. Shot, my man. First, hey. first green of the day. All the ducks fluffing now. We got them up. Oh, yeah. we, got those, we got those birds up. We got a ring. Teal. 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 Huh? Teal. What do you think? You ready now? You got to get You got your first duck. That feels good, doesn't it? Whoop, whoop. Duck to the right. Yeah, if they'll just do that first committal, we'll do it. Get that one. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Ah, the Oklahoma green. Pretty duck. I hear you singing right here. Oh, he's dropping in. I don't even want to kill that duck anyway, I don't think. Even the pro will miss a DG duck like that. Huh? Hey, let's move, let's switch and rotate. Hey guys, you ready to switch? We got, we got, our, we got the first five of 20 green heads. Uh, let's a uh, little lull. Let's rotate it out, and then y'all can come shoot five or ten, and then we'll come back in after that. Work for me. First two guys, they got their limit, pretty good timing. Uh, then Ryan and I moved into the hole, and 
Shoot, the wind started picking up, blowing out of the south. It was about 45 degrees, and the ducks just started coming in. Good shot. Got him. Two dreams. Get him, boy. Here they come. On the right. On the right. Kill it green here. That thing's bulletproof. Oh, I gotta tell you. Ryan and I got a slow start. We both were missing a, to start out with. Kind of made fools of ourselves, but after we got the first couple ducks down, it was on. It was just one shot, one duck, and see who was gonna hit the next. Sling out for That was an expensive duck. Walker, I've been watching you too long. Four, four, four. Coming. Hard for you to believe, but I miss. It is hard for me to believe. Two greens, get them, boy. Hey, good shooting, there, boy. Good shooting, boy. Good shooting, now. Any any more questions up there in the peanut gallery? Any more questions in the peanut gallery up there? Kill him, boys. There you go. There you go. There's five. That's it. That is the two man, five duck, Oklahoma limit. I'm waiting on the widgeons. Guess what? I'm waiting on the widgeons. You ain't waiting on no widgeons. Get out of the hole. <laughs> come, come stack your ducks up. It's time for me and John to finish. Okay. We, nope. got, we got five birds left. Two right here. I shot all of them. That's what happens when the. I don't know if you noticed, hey. but I've been handing you tails. Yeah, I wonder what. He reaches in his right pocket and gives me bullets, and he shoots out of his left pocket. So what's going on? That's some reloads, huh? Uh, two greens, two greens. 
I ain't got no bullets. It's all you. Kill him. Kill him. Good shot, man. Nice shot. Thank you. I got him in two shots that time instead of three. How'd that do? He can fly out of your pocket. Matty. Good. Good. Hey. Hey. Good shot. I'm getting closer. I'm down to two shots. Water nap on that one. See you, here comes birds all over. See you. Look at this kamikaze hen right here. Straight from the right. Single out front left. Single out front left. Kill him. Oh! <laughs> yeah. That's it, boys. Right, That's baby. a wrap. That's 20. Woo! Matty. That was pretty, Doc. Oh, you got me good, dude. Oh. That was pretty. <laughs> All right. Neil. 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 Oh. Eel, eel. That a baby. That a girl. Hey, you got that one now. That one. That was a real shell. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you a real bull pattern on that one. Thank you. Good job, Pretty. guys. Pretty. I'm take to the house. Time to go to the eating hole, boy. Yeah. The eating establishment. Out of zingers. Yeah, yeah they're, they're just in. Huh? You watch these birds long enough, you know when it's going to be right, and it, we knew it was going to be right. On that first day, we had the good, strong south wind. I knew the birds were in this hole, and it was just awesome to be able to sit there and watch them come into that wind and set those wings and glide all the way in and finish right over top of the decoys and making for easy shots. And it was, it's just one of those days, you know, you get those days throughout the year here and there where everything's right, and it's, it's, it's a beautiful hunt. The birds are coming in out of the blue sky, the sun's shining all over the green and you can pick out green heads and they're just right in your face and it, it was just really right. Come. Big group, big group right here. 25 green heads. Where'd they go? They're coming in, they're coming in right here. Right here. Right here. Brad, I'll just back you. Kill them. The Conservation Minute, presented by Ducks Unlimited. Conservation today means wetlands sorrow. Hi, I'm Don Young with Ducks Unlimited. Right now, there's a big problem facing waterfowl and the future of duck hunting. The disappearance of the grasslands of North America. We often call it the duck factory because it's the most important area for waterfowl breeding in North America. It's likely that wherever you live, the ducks you see over your decoys have come from the grasslands. But right now, there are significant pressures on those grasslands by converting that prairie into row crops. We need contributions from passionate duck hunters like you to protect the future of the prairies, of waterfowl, and duck hunting forever. To find out how you can help, visit our website at www.ducks.org backslash help now. Join us, Ducks Unlimited and our great partners at Mossy Oak to rescue the duck factory. Your support will ensure that more habitat on the ground means more ducks in the sky. We quickly realized this morning that we were going to have to move. Uh, we, we, we based our hunt and our decision this morning on where to hunt on what we saw yesterday evening. And the birds kind of fooled us a little bit and I think some new birds showed up 
and they started hitting that big open stretch of the river, which typically the new birds hit. And we knew right away, hey, we got to get up there and get on these ducks and shoot them while we can. And that's, you know, that's part of it. You can't just sit there and wait and wait and wait knowing you're in a spot that may not be working. Taxidermy shop, I imagine. Right back. Here. Big group, big group right here. 25 green. Hey, Brad. Hey, Brad. Kill him. Drop him in. Drop him in. Kill that Drake. Kill that Drake. Kill it. That was pretty, boys. That was pretty. Fault. I missed that green head. You got one though. Ah. First time I've ever hunted with John Hoover, one of the guys that was with us, and he's something else. You could tell when it was getting slow, he knew what to do to pick it up. He'd get to telling stories or, or joshing back and forth between a couple of the guys, and it wasn't long, and you were, you were laughing and rolling, you weren't paying attention watching for them ducks. He was something else, and he, he'd been doing this a long time, and he had some good stories. It was fun. You know, I knew Brady was was doing pretty good at this. But I really hadn't been up much, uh, kind of lost track of what he was doing. I'm proud of what I'm seeing. It's, it's wonderful. It's nice to know I had a little piece in that in the beginning many, many years ago. It's nice to just be able to say, hey, come out. I'll take care of everything. All you got to do is show up and shoot ducks because he's, he's put me on many. That's all I had to do is show up and shoot ducks. And it's been really fun having him out and repaying him for all the things that he's done for me over the last 20 years. These ducks, I, 